Dude, I fucking love Target, man. Okay, all kinds of cool stuff with Target. I fucking love Target. I kind of, I man, I can get all kinds of cool shit at Target. I love fucking Target so much. Wait. Is that, is that Zach? Oh shit, wrong window. Hey! Hey! Yo, Zach! Whoa, whoa, what up, dude? Funny, si we're funny running into you here. Yo, What's yeah, up, yeah, my yeah, guy? Dude, yo, dude, hit me with the. Hit me with the. Hit, What's uh, hit good? Me with, hey, yeah. yeah. Dude, I got this awesome opportunity. Take this. Whoa. Take this. It's my card. It's an in and out gift yep. card. How much? How much? How much? So uh, I used it uh, earlier. I think it was like th maybe 13 and a half, maybe like 13.90, okay. something okay. like that. Uh, hop in the car. I'll, well, ex I'll explain all when you get there. What's the catch? Uh, the catch is that you get in the car now. There's now, no, there's, now, no, there's, no now. there's no strings. There's no strings. There's no, attached. There's, there's no string, strings attached to that car. No, no. You just get in the fucking car now. I feel like I have more questions about this. Here he comes. Here he comes in the car. There he is. Hey. Hey. All right. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Yep. Um. <clears throat> here, are you, we okay? Yeah. You can use here. You can. You can use this if you need. If you need to. Okay. I turn it off. I wow. turn it off. Um. Hold so on what's here. the? I'm gonna ask you a few questions on the way to. Skinny. Oh wait. Hold on. This is this. That's not my phone. Where's my phone? Do you want me to call you? <laughs> oh, it's right here. It's right in front of me. No, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. We're gonna go to Raising Cane's real quick. Oh shit. <clears throat> And that's the catch. I get an In-N-Out gift card for going the raisin cane. Yeah. So I don't know if I don't know if you're familiar. I'm a big proponent. <laughs> I'm a big <laughs> proponent. I'm a big proponent of raisin canes. Um, that's my fucking. So I'm just gonna go raisin canes. You know. I gonna, thought I thought that was gonna be at the end of the. <laughs> that was gonna be the last thing we did today. What do you want to do? <laughs> you want to get donuts and you drive around cream? Cleveland for an hour? Krispy Kreme. I gotta do it on my phone. I can't do it. I gotta do it on my phone. Yeah. Well, this is definitely unexpected. Yeah, I, 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 uh, didn't, I didn't expect to see you here in Cleveland so soon after yeah, the last just, time. Yeah, we, so we recorded an episode last week, and I told Ben, drop me off at the airport. Um, but I didn't, I had, um, I, I kept, I kept, I stayed. Oh, sorry, it's Master Chief. No, 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 you don't have to hear. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you stayed, and I'm, I'm honestly really happy that you turn stayed. Turn left, and then turn right. I'm honestly really happy that turn you... Turn right, I'm and honest... then turn left. I'm honestly really happy... Turn right, and then turn left, turn right, <laughs> in oh. point one miles. Turn left. I, I'm honestly really happy that you stayed for a good bit. I, you know, I wanted to... You know, we didn't really do much while you were here, so I wanted to. Well, we played Suica. Played Suica for like how long? Like two, two it's hours. Like too too much. Too much time. Too much time. Playing Suica. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it was. I thought it was a good time. Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't think it was a bad time at all. And why'd you try to leave? Uh, was my, I guess, my, and you didn't tell me that you were staying. Oh my god! I hope we get in a car accident on this trip. <laughs> That's good content, at least. Yeah. Get the video I, out of I, it. I mean. There's no denying anything to insurance carriers today. Right, right. Um, Bro, I'm trying, motherfucker. But what was I going to say? I'm turning right, to be honest with you. I'm just going to turn Honestly, right. Honestly, yeah. I mean, it's about the journey, not the destination today. It's about the journey, but not the destination. Zach, I always love your optimism. Yeah. Um, you always remind me of Batman. I remind you of Batman? A little bit, yeah. When I say, yeah. Yeah. That's very Batman-esque. So... What I don't think you understand about me is I'm a big, I'm a big, big, big you are fan big. of comic books. Half a mile, turn left. Okay. Um, I'm a big fan of comic books. Uh, with that, mostly DC. Mm-hmm. Um, why am I? Welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I thought I was getting fucked. Yeah. Well, that's that is coming, but that's the the, the OnlyFans exclusive, the Patreon In exclusive. Point one miles. <laughs> The next time I come out here, I will plan more on on the pr on the premises and the setups for each bit. Yeah, we, but I do find it funny. I do find it funny just winging it sometimes. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, we fooled you. We fooled you. We we fooled you, you thought that he stayed the whole time, and I have the same shirt well, on. Shirt left. Ooh. We didn't tell anyone we were doing this in the first place. Yep. Then we didn't tell anyone we were doing a second thing. Yep. We. I. There could be a third thing after this. Yep. There could be a fourth thing. Yep. 
I could live here now. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Why don't you? Got a job. I stare and my eye goes bonky a lot when I'm driving. So if if you guys see that. Bro's, bro's squinting a little bit. I, go, I, get a, I get a little bit squinty. So if, if you see that, don't worry about it. I wanted to make this open invite uh, like last episode. I mean, I can call someone and put them on speaker. Or we got Riverside on the phone. I don't know if I want to set up a whole Riverside room after what we've been through today. That's that's a good point. We started setting this up. Okay. Oh, I'm so surprised. We started setting this up like what? Two hours ago? Not even, yeah. What do you mean not even? Less than that. You think so? Probably more than that. I don't know. Took a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Did you have a point to what you were saying, or are you just saying No, that? I'm just saying that, like, you know, it, 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 it is a little awkward to be in a car with someone for two hours and then be like, and then now we'll start talking. Well, we were talking. We kept, I, I just told you I wanted to get pinned a bunch. I mean, I, I, talked, I talked to you a lot. You just didn't respond a lot. You're, yeah. you're, 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 you're the kind of guy who's like, off camera, I'm not going to speak to you. I don't like you. And on camera, I like you a lot. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yep. See, he's now, now he's being my hey. friend. Before, he was hitting me. You know, you would think that Ben would be really, like, blobular. And, you know, maybe that's true in other parts of him. But on his shoulder, that's pure... Muscle. Yeah. Bo- it's bone. Well, you know, you're tight. I'm tight? Yeah, you're tight on the shoulders. Oh, I got sh- tight shoulders? Have you, ever, have you ever gotten a massage? Yes. Yeah. Uh, from uh was that guy. Cardi that we saw earlier. Yep. We saw Cardi earlier? We saw Cardi B. Or this Cardi B in Cleveland. Cardi B I in saw Cleveland. The Rock. You did see The Rock? Hey, put that picture up here. <laughs> I hate that's my that's I I don't know if it's because I'm I'm a I'm a I edit it, YouTube videos. The my least favorite thing is when they talk about what the edit is gonna be in the edit, and yeah. I do that constantly. To well, I do that for you because I don't edit the podcast and I yeah, have I also, ideas. I also if you don't do that, I will forget to put put it in. Yeah. I will send it to you. You better send it to me. I'm gonna get yeah. it. one mile. Dude, that's a half. I wish I had the camera ready. That was like a half American, half Italian flag. Like they ripped the flags in half and sewed them together. Why would you have anything but the American flag? Is my question. Yeah. I I talked about this yesterday, but Cleveland is one of those cities that's just gray. Like, it's funny when we were setting this up, this whole car experience, it's like the lighting is super dim. But that's just what it looks like outside in Cleveland all the time. So when, we, when I when I moved here, I, I the, the first time I came here it was nice, sunny, like seventy degrees. It was super great, and then I learned later on that uh, apparently half a mile. turn left. Apparently, uh, Ohio is known for like rain and like overcast. Yeah, it must be something to do with like where it sits on the Great Lakes because I had my connecting flight in Chicago. And when I took off, it was beautiful. I mean, I understand Chicago probably has other weather, but at least the day I landed, it was just clear skies. I mean, just blue as can be, flying over Lake Superior, just crystal clear, just, ugh, just gorgeous. And it's only like a 47 minute flight from Chicago yeah. to Cleveland. Yeah. But about halfway through, like 20 minutes outside of Cleveland, it's like someone had a dimmer, like a little dim switch, and just went. Ew. Yeah, it just turned down the like, vibrance. It just hits you out of nowhere. What's and happening? then you land, and it's like, how is this? Oh yeah, we're in the middle of traffic. But yeah, man, it just flying into Cleveland's kind of a trip because it's it's just Cleveland. Yeah. Everywhere outside of Cleveland is like normal. And point, and I don't think I mentioned this in the podcast either, but I, I was going through a lot of allergies in the past week, which is kind of unique for me. It's the first time in a while where I'm kind of going through that. Um, and so I was looking up. I was like, hey, I'm, I know I'm going to Cleveland. Maybe that'll like reset my allergies a little bit. It'll be, it'll be a bit different. So I looked up, is Cleveland a good place for allergies? And like the very first result on Google just says like, if you are struggling to do anything, anything to do with like congestion or difficulty breathing, do not go to Cleveland. Like it's like so bad in terms of just air quality. And here you are. So yeah, I'm surprisingly doing all right. It's because, you know what what it is? Turn left. It's because you played Suica. You had some coffee to clear your Yeah, yesterday I was kind of going through it, but I do think coffee and Suica... (sighs) 
Coffee and sweet. It always does it. And the corn dog. Yeah, and the breakfast corn dog. And the breakfast corn dog. It always it always hits. So I have to fart. I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna leave the window open a little bit. Get out of the car. I'm in traffic. That would be dangerous and stupid of me to do. Anyways, we're trying to take the podcast to places we've never been to before. So if for the first time ever, here's a podcast going through a Krispy Kreme drive through Well done out there. Yeah, this is an awkward. This is an awkward drive-through too. Me. Yeah, I don't like this angle. It's not. Yeah, it's I should not, turn the camera on. It's not optimal. It's definitely not optimal. How do you record? I don't know. Do you, do you know what you want? A donut. Where's the record button? It's on the back. It's the big red button on oh, the back. Yeah. They're getting, a, they're getting an Amazon package. Huh? They got an Amazon package. They got an Amazon package from where? Yeah, he walked in. There's an Amazon Prime right there. Oh, yeah. That's a whole, like, Amazon Prime delivery yeah. truck, huh? Yeah. This is the first time we've filmed in public. It is. Yeah. Wow. I tried to film a short with Ben today. I don't know if it'll go public, but it was in public, and it was <laughs> it just didn't go well. I, I, I already cringe at myself for knowing so much about Pokemon, and then you put a camera on me and asked me about Pokemon, and I was like, this is the in worst. In public. And there was a person right in the aisle next to us. Yeah, okay. I was like, this is I shit. guess it's a little different because I don't live here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if it was the if it was the, like the Safeway by my house in Phoenix, I'd probably not appreciate that. But because I'm out here, I don't I don't frankly so care. So how about we go to the Safeway by your house doxing yourself by the way in Phoenix, Arizona and uh film there. We can you can film the whole podcast there if you want. See the in see the Safeway until the they Safeway. kick us out. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. I'm actually really hungry. I hope they have food that is going to be remotely filling, and we can stop and eat before we go to our next destination. Well, they, I think they just sell donuts, right? I, we drove by this earlier today, and I was like, I've never. Oh, I forgot to ask. I see if their hot and ready sign was on. Yeah, I know the hot that, and ready is the best. I didn't know that was the thing. By the way, this person was behind us and then just left. Is that like a security vehicle? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's been a long time since I've been to a Krispy Kreme. So we drove by here and I was like, whoa, that's a Krispy Kreme. We were supposed to get Raisin Cane's at the end of it and eat it in the car, right? Yeah. And then bring some back yep. for your, your lovely wife yep. at home. Yep. Um, but What's taking so I don't want to. I don't want to have it be sitting in here for like four hours for her. That's true. Well, it takes a while to make a donut. But it doesn't take a while to tell them, tell, them, tell them what donut you want. Why did I stutter so much? Tell them what donut you want. This is crazy. I want a dog. I yeah. want to pick up a dog while, while we're out. We can go look at dogs. Where are we gonna look at? Dogs? I'm a dog. I'm your dog. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got Krispy Kreme when I first moved here because I, I I had it maybe once prior. Um, it was all right. They had a, I got a latte. It was all right. I'm not going to get a latte today, though. Is this your I water? don't know if I've no. ever had coffee from Krispy Kreme. All right. It's like mid at best. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, what the fuck is this person doing? The whole podcast doing? is going to be here. Just in the Krispy Kreme drive-thru. Do you <sighs> think when we pull up, they're going to notice all the camera equipment? I was thinking about that. I think it's like subtle enough to where yeah. like maybe not. Like that could just be a dash cam and yeah. I don't know if you'd even notice this back one. But I mean maybe the, the lav on my chest. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit is what I'm saying. Oh my god. Finally. Holy fucking shit. How many donuts are you ordering? Did they got the one that's like glazed with the chocolate frosting? I don't know. Yeah, chocolate. Oh, is it? Uh... Alrighty, one second please. Second time. What do you want? I'm trying to read the menu. I can't. I, I, I can't. Eat. Yeah. I might just get a cinnamon roll. Get cinnamon rolls. Can we just a, a, um, a glazed donut? Just one? Yeah. Ask if they, if they can. Ask if they have the one that has the glaze and the chocolate topping. Do you have the donut that has the glazed and then the chocolate on top? Yeah, the chocolate ice. Yes. Yeah, I want yeah, that one. Yeah, have one with and without sprinkles. Sprinkles or no sprinkles? Fuck it, let's sprinkle it on. Can I get one of those with sprinkles? Okay, how many donuts are you getting in total? Uh, I'm just gonna get one. Just yeah, get just one? get one. Uh, uh, I guess two. Okay, one sprinkle. And then one 
I assume the cinnamon roll is a donut, right? It doesn't look like it, but it, I assume it is. We're actually out of cinnamon roll at the moment, so we don't have blueberry or cinnamon. Okay. Um, how about... Uh, get, get, get two of the donuts that... Uh, the, the glaze with the icing. With Can you say one more time for me? Get, get two of the same donut that you already have. The chocolate sprinkle? Yeah, and then can I get just like a, a small hot coffee? Black? Uh, can you do light and sweet? Like, say one more time for me? Can you do light and sweet? Like uh, a, a bit of cream and bit of sugar? Cream and sugar? Yeah. Okay. That'll be it. That'll be it. Six thirty nine. All right, thank you. You're you said light and sweet again. I that people should know what that means. You know what that means. I do. Yeah, I was hoping to get anything but uh, the same thing. I really wanted that cinnamon. I'm like a cuck for cinnamon. They got a churro donut. It's not very good. At Dunkin' Donuts, it's really good, but they have a churro coffee that is fire. When a good donut shop does like an apple fritter. I mean, I'm just a bitch for apples. I want apples. Snap, apple fritters are dope so, too. But like an apple fritter, like a, like a good donut shop. They have like their main donuts, and then they're just like, "Here's our apple fritter." Right, man. That's kind of similar though, because they put all the cinnamon in it. I right. guess that's why I thought that. Cinnamon rolls are good. Did I tell you? I don't but, like the cream cheese frosting thing though. That people do on cinnamon. Oh, I rolls. love that shit. I love that shit. Ugh. Do you? Uh, no power to you. Are you of? Uh, did I ever tell you the story about my uh, my little Caesar little Caesar's experience in Virginia when I went there? You the may have, there? but I don't remember it. We went there. And there was a big ass line wrapping around the entire uh, building. It was it was drive through, Little Caesars. We get there and they are, I, the guy comes on that thing and he's like, "Yeah, nobody's working right now." Oh, okay. He's like, yeah, everybody just quit. Oh, you have told me this because I went to a Wendy's where the same thing happened. And I said, I, I mean, I said I'll wait, and he'd be, he was like, it would be like an hour and a half probably because I have a bunch of shit on it, and I was like, never mind, I'm good. That's I'm- crazy. I'm your Uber driver, or you're my Uber. <laughs> I'm your Uber driver, by the way. <laughs> if he asks questions about why I'm in the back seat of the yeah. car, can you imagine what if they all just quit right now? If, oh, right, right now, everyone at Krispy Kreme. They, quit? They, they saw our two donuts and they were like, "We can't, we can't be doing this." Surely they can't put sprinkles on this. Yeah. Hi, how are you today? Hello. Six thirty-nine. Would you like your seat today? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Oh, Thank you. You too. Well, that can, was pleasant. Based on the smell alone, I can tell you that they did not put enough cream or sugar into this. Bro, smelling cream? I can just tell by the smell of it that they didn't put enough. I'll I drink feel like it. you can't smell cream. You can't fucking smell cream. I could smell cream. You need. I like my coffee really light, so the coffee smell is kind of. Hold on, I'm gonna park, bitch ass. Talk smack like that again, and you're gonna get clocked. I'll bro. turn this car around. You're about to get clocked. I'm telling you, you're about to get clocked. Um, I'm gonna hit this bird. Right Regurgitated there. in public goes crazy. What is giant eagle? I gotta find out what a giant fucking deck in the ass is gonna feel like. There you go. They're not, they're not hot and fresh for, for sure. Shit. Very good, though. This is Sugar City. Holy fuck. Good? Oh, my God. It was like coating my throat. Yeah. They gave me a black coffee. Is that not light and sweet, dude? Nope. It's definitely not light. This isn't the first time you had this issue. I mean, it's almost like it's not descriptive enough. I said light and sweet, and then I said, can I get cream and sugar? Fucking okay, give me a black coffee. Light cream, light sugar. I want light cream, light sugar. I want heavy cream, heavy sugar. Huh? Light and sweet. There's a, a lot of cream and a lot of sugar. Oh, shit. See, I always get it wrong. Last bite. It's not black. It might as well be black. 
Right? I mean, it's pretty dark. <clears throat> a fucking waste of time. I know what you mean by light, but if I'm asking you how much of something do you want in this, and you use the word light, that makes me think like less. But a coffee, a light coffee is a lot of cream. And, yeah, uh, but that's not my first thought. Brick, bitch, are you making my fucking coffee? <laughs> I mean, I can. Want to make me coffee? <laughs> I'm going to go back in there. Come on, let's run it back. Probably can make my coffee better than that fucking idiot. Yeah, probably. Just making fun of service workers on a podcast with two yeah. white dudes in a car. He's just filming people <clears throat> without their permission. I was considering, I was thinking about, I'm like, that. that is one thing that I don't really want to do, but we're doing it. Yeah. How are you feeling? Sugared up. Honestly good. Honestly good. I feel like I kind of needed a bit of sugar after that Red Bull and beer last night. <sighs> that was funny. And two coffees this morning. That was the, the you like yeah, needed more sugar. Every time you come to Cleveland, you just ruin yourself. Yeah. I mean, you act like I don't ruin myself in my diet, like on a daily basis. I do not. But I definitely, um, definitely don't do myself any favors when I'm here. Maybe, maybe you should just treat yourself a little bit. Maybe like a salad would help. Shit myself. Well, we're going to raising canes. <laughs> What's on the, my head, headrest? See a I little white dot. <laughs> I don't want to drive anymore. Yeah. Do you want to switch? What kind of what size, size car do you drive? I drive a Chevy Cruze. Like this size? Smaller? It's smaller, longer. Smaller, longer. Maybe we can make I mean, maybe not right now, but we can switch. At some point. If you want I mean, to it's, up, it's up to you. It is your car. Do you have your license on you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I you're not going to speed in my car, are you? Not, no, no. Not I a, might. Not a, not a mile per hour over the speed limit. If we're going if we're to 25, you ain't going 30. <clears throat> I'll gun you down quicker than the cops in Cleveland will gun you down. Um... I feel like you wouldn't like me driving your car. Why are you an asshole? You you whip, you're gonna whip a Honda Pilot. You want to? Yeah. Whip it through the glass like him. That's the song. What you was said. that last word? I don't know. You you said it. I, I all I know of the song. He says the N word at the part that you said. Whip, whip it through the glass, and then you said something. Like I thought it was a like a something something. Should I just scream for help? No, you should not do that. Help! All right, drive me somewhere. Where? Just around. We'll go to a car wash in a minute, but just aimlessly. I don't know. I'll just take a right and drive straight for a while. What an entertaining podcast. What do you want me to do? You're always giving me Someone shit. You want to be on a podcast? You're always giving me crap. There is a, an express car wash on the road we're on, not yeah, far away. Yeah, it's literally right across the street. Well, you're right. But I thought maybe you could drive a bit more just to fill up some time. Okay. It's always a good sign when you're making like a YouTube video and you're like, oh, we got to fill time. Yeah. Uh, it's, we're, we're, we're like 10 like ten to 20 minutes into this podcast. It's like, oh, yeah, we got to fill more time. All right, let's go. Um, so I, I brought topics to this podcast. I, got, I prepared a lot. Did you um, really? Yeah, so one thing that I would wanna, excite me because I didn't. One thing I want to ask you is, uh, name the five best fast foods. You know, we had this conversation on the last podcast, You're but right. raising canes used to be that on that list for me, and it still might be. I'll, I'll think about it in a moment, but I think they're becoming less consistent these days. Um, you got to tell me if we, when we have raising canes if it's good raising canes or if it's bad. Definitely. I definitely will do that. Um, this this will be interesting, too, because it's my first time going to a Raising Cane's not in Arizona. So, Really? Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't think I don't, I've been the one outside of the state. I don't know if I've ever been to a Raising Cane's, or I've ever seen a Raising Cane's in Connecticut. Look at that matte black Audi right there. That is That's kind of crazy. Was that, was that Veta Black or whatever? Yeah, it was a Vanta Black Audi. Yeah, Vanta Black. Um, that sounds like, you know, like a rap bar someone would do. Driving in a Vanta Black Audi. That does sound like a rap With bar. my shoddy. Wow. Keep going. Keep um, going. We can make another song. 
Plus some in a peanut. Carpool karaoke. Dude, you want to, you're James play? Corden, and I'm Justin Bieber, and this is Carpool Karaoke. Play royalty-free music if you're going to play anything. Doubling the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year is what we do. Well, I'm doubling everything now. Never mind. Double. Who listens to the fucking radio? It's all ads. I like, uh, there's like a morning show in Phoenix I like to listen to sometimes, but they kind of get on my nerves occasionally, so... I'm on a love-hate relationship with, with Holmberg in the morning. What's his name? <laughs> yeah. Holmberg? Dude, they literally play, like, uh, like videos of people, like, dying, like, on the radio show every morning. What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? Holmberg, Holmberg in the morning plays videos of people dying on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Explain that to me. Well, they, like, react to it on the radio. They're like, someone will get their like head chopped off, and they're like, "Whoa, what the fuck!" Like, but it's on the radio. On the radio, like an FM radio station. Yeah. What? What is, is the only thing you can't explain on the uh, say on the radio? Is it just well, I don't know because they've they've kind of broken my expectations of like what's allowed on like a radio show, right? Like, I thought my whole life like that's like an FCC. I mean, I think it is an FCC thing, but like, it, it's really restricted of what you can get away on the radio. Maybe the government just stopped paying attention to what people do on the radio because these guys just they go off you know but they sometimes they go they come at me with something where I'm like oh, alright what, what is it, what is the alright moment I don't know they're, they're definitely kind of like I, I'm not going to call them alt-right because I don't think they are but they kind of touch on they, they, they hit a few lines where I'm just like okay buddy Holmberg in the morning is not woke I would not describe them as woke no what even is woke what is Holmberg? Are Who is we that? woke? Are we woke? Anyways, the top five fast food. We are food, definitely woke, right? We, we have to be. I mean, I guess. if like I bet people would, if I was to have a conversation with someone, I guarantee you a large amount of people would be like, that guy's woke. But I don't know what the fuck that even really means fully. So, but I don't think they do either. You know? I think everyone, sure. like, the woke is a term that, like, everyone has their own idea of what it means, but it's more of, like, a feeling, right? Okay. Like, there are some words that are just vibes, you know? They're just words that are vibes. No, I, are you, what, what words are you talking about? Like. Are you saying woke is one of the, is a word that is a vibe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's more of, like, a vibe. Like, woke, woke is a, woke is the vibe. What are you fucking saying? <laughs> well, like, I'm trying to think of another example. Like, um, I'm trying to think of a word. What's a word that, like, you never had explained to you, but you kind of just get? You know? That's a good question. Like, cunt. I mean, yeah, but that's, like, I feel like curse words are a little bit different. Oh, no, curse words are off limits. Um, yeah. um, serendipitous. Yeah, serendipitous. That I guess has, you can put a definition a, to it, yeah. but like, you know. But it does have it does have a vibe to the word itself, you know. Something. Dude, I had this conversation with someone like a month ago, and I used a word that like fit it so perfectly. Where it's a word that like, you don't really know what it means, but you kind of like just get, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I forget what that what that is. So. What the fuck is making that noise? It's going to murder me. Shut up. What is that word? Noise. What is that word? <laughs> Bluefish aquariums. Um, should we just go, uh, drive through downtown Cleveland and get get yeah. uh, uh, and get into an accident? I have. I don't think I've ever driven through. You told me when you picked me up from the airport yesterday. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, we're gonna drive through downtown we Cleveland. We did, and it and smelled then, like shit. No, you did not drive through downtown Cleveland. You what drove. We were right there. We were. You, I it. saw it, but yeah. it was the same road I took last time. You pitched it to me, like, oh, I'm gonna take you through the scenic route. But then you went the same exact way we went last time, just around, around and it, downtown. And it still smelled like shit. Sure, but I, I wasn't excited for the smell. Do you want to see downtown Cleveland? You want to give, give me shit. anxiety driving through downtown Cleveland? You don't have to. You want to hurt my feelings. Well, take me somewhere make me cool. Sad. You take want to make me, me take sad. Take the podcast. You are literally look, in the look. driver's seat. Well, I didn't have my camera. You fucking idiot. Well, remind me when we're coming back. Cyber truck. It's cyber trucks. There's a lot of cyber trucks right there. Um, yeah, you are literally in the driver's seat for this podcast, dude. 
You can take this show wherever you want. The world is your oyster. If you don't want to go downtown, then don't fucking take me downtown. Take me somewhere neat. Take this show somewhere it's never been before. Go take me through the woods. Take me through the hood. Take me through the, you uh, think you the, a think, retirement home. How far are the Poconos? Can you do that? Can you look that up? Is that really something we could do? I don't think so. I think it's like five, six hours away. How do you spell it? P-O-C-O-N-O-S. Oh, Pocono Mountains. Yeah, it's like five and a half. We Next episode, road trip. I would love to go to the Poconos. Okay, uh, we should do... Okay, I guess it wouldn't work for the next time, but the time after that, we should plan like a six-hour road trip like that, and it's just a giant like six-hour episode. That would we be so suck at only it. one direction, and then the other direction we just we're just not talking. Well, we probably would have exhausted through a lot of conversation by then, but yeah. I would like to do like a national park podcast. I In a national would, park, I think that would go. It would probably get. It, Difficult, like permitting or whatever, but we could find a way. Give us a fuck, dude. I'm gonna go to uh, Poconos National something whatever park. I guess they can't stop you. I, the Grand Canyon's like massive, and I've just done plenty of illegal <laughs> stuff in and around the Grand Canyon. So and we can we, we can go to the, the peak of Mount Pocono or whatever. I don't we, know if I've ever been. I've probably driven through it, like when I was a kid. I don't know if I have like a distinct memory of being there though. That's about the Poconos? Yeah. Dude, the, the big Pocono State Park, whatever the fuck, I went there twice, fire. It is, it is we should go. so not, it, I would ironically be down to like, at some point, if we, if we, if we plan it, would go there and just do the podcast on top of Mount Pocono. Just stay there all day. Fuck it. You gotta get some wind socks, dude. Is this a high school over here? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of buses. It's a giant high school. Yeah. Um, they got, dude, they got Cleveland has big ass high, uh, high schools. I, I, it's crazy to me that there are high schools that are like thousands of people. And I know that you experienced that. Yeah, no, I went, when I lived in Maryland, you know, I went to a decent sized school. It wasn't like a really small yeah. school or anything. But when I moved out to Arizona, yeah, it was like thousands of kids in my, in my high school. It's, it has like a whole yeah, campus. Turn right. And that was kind of a, a trip to go yeah. to because, like, you would have to coordinate, like, which building your class is in. Yeah. That was a completely new concept to me. It's going, like, oh, I have to go outside and walk to a different building in high school. Yeah. Their security guards didn't play around either. They would drive around th- with, like, golf carts through campus, and they would do, like, hall checks. What the fuck? It was, like, pretty much impossible to skip class in my high school. I'm sure some people did it. In fact, I know some people did it. But it was a, you had to coordinate it really well. You know, you had to really not want to be there. I, uh, oh, I should go run in the trippy smoke shop. I, I never skipped a, a single class in high school, but I skipped almost every class in college. See, that's, that's funny because I dropped out of college because I wasn't doing well, but I went to like every single class. Here's trippy smoke shop, by the way. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. It's trippy. Look at these where's guys. Africa? I want to film people without their permission. Oh, wait, where's Africa? We just passed it. Oh, fuck. Well, guys, you missed Africa. Um, in point one miles. Oh, but yeah, we had... Um, Turn right. So again, you couldn't really skip class in my school, but they are like uh, this biotechnology class I was taking. Yeah, I was in a biotechnology class. Calm down. Whoa. Um, Turn right. But they uh, they had this little outdoor garden section where we were doing like experiments with plants and shit. Reached. Oh, look at this place. I'm out there. I'll be ready for the next mission. Dude, this is going to go so Just hard. I can't wait. Well, no, I have me. actually never been through a car wash in this car, I don't think. No? This is the first time this car is getting washed? I think so. It's a little virgin. I go through here, right? Yeah, I have to. I've never done this. This is actually horrifying. You have to put it in neutral. Neutral? Yeah, it's like he'll direct you on the like uh, spokes or whatever, and then you put your car in neutral. Why? I stop here? Well, he'll, he'll direct you once this guy's done. Watch this like completely destroy your vehicle.
No, no, keep your window up. Uh, well, take that, I guess. She. Oh, neutral. Take your hand off the wheel, bitch. I, this is horrifying to me. All right. Yeah, people's, uh, I shouldn't tell you this now, but uh, people definitely have gotten like their bumper ripped off in these things. The lighting's not going to be great for this section, I hope you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was expecting it. And the audio is going to be really <laughs> shit as well. <laughs> Man, we, we, still need to go over top, we still need to go over our top five fast food restaurants. Yeah, go, go for it, go for it. I don't know. All right. Um... Canes. Uh oh. Shit. Is Canes the only one you got? This is so loud. Keep going. Come on, Canes. Okay. What else? Canes. Um. Uh, uh, fucking In and Out. Uh. I feel uh, like you're not giving like a true. You just said fuck it. Like I don't think you're giving like a true. Oh, uh, fuck. Shit. Wendy's. McDonald's, uh, shit. Chick fil A fell off. I'm stressing. What's the best fast food? What is fast food? How do I get out of neutral? Cookout, Maryland, or not Maryland, Virginia, whatever. I've only had it twice. When do I get out of neutral? Wait till they drop you off. Drop me off? Wait till it says go before you switch it. Because you will actually break your car if you just put it in drive and start driving right now. Good, all right. There you go. Well. That cool. was great. That was really loud. Yeah. Did, Did you, you like that? Do you believe in Cleveland? That was, I mean, that was, I've never done a uh, car wash. That was kind of terrifying, to be honest, but. Well, now we're clean. How do you feel? Do you feel fresh oh, in shower? I feel refreshed. Yeah. Where, 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 where did the left go? Let's enter. Yeah, I you, they, exit. yeah, it's if you want to pay for another one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, did you hear about the Chick Fil A change the chicken? No, is that true? Yeah, they uh, they're putting microplastics and antibiotics in the chicken. Now. Fuck yeah, I'm actually so down for that. I've been I've been asking them for to do that for years. Genuinely, I I'm I'm so down for some microplastics. I think that's a fucking base that's a shit decision. Well, you know, oftentimes when people complain about that type of shit, I'm like, whatever, dude. But the past couple times I went to Chick Fil A, it wasn't that great. It was really? definitely a different chicken. I haven't had Chick Chick Fil A in a few weeks, so I, I don't I don't know. What's the up with Chick Fil A and corned beef? That's like the third I don't know gas station I've seen. And this gas station over here, here, where's the camera? I lost it. Oh yeah, this one. Hold on. This gas station right over here, or this market, this like little corner store, is advertising their corned beef. Maybe it's the best thing on the planet. It might be. But, that would uh, be the reason that it's there. I have a funny feeling that this is probably not great. Can, you, can I ask you a question about raising canes? Yeah, because you were just talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they have, they have. I, I'm, I, I'm like autistic as shit. I don't like bones in my, in my. No, you're not going to get a bone. Okay. Well, what I'm asking is, they, uh, they do have boneless. Or is this, the, the, you couldn't. Only have bone there's not a. You couldn't get a bone if you tried. Okay, so there is no. There is no bone. No. The what chicken, the fuck is making that noise, dude? It's getting me so ramped up, amped up, ramped up. Is it up. in the camera or in the mouth? Maybe. Probably in the mouth. Baby, yeah. Do you have any other fucking autistic tendencies about chicken? Um. No. I just. I just don't like eating something that I can't like eat all of. That's a one thing. I also have a GERD, and eczema. So. You don't like eating something you can't eat all of. 
Yes. So like, I don't like eating. I don't like eating from like bone in wings from KFC, the one right next to us. Because you, you want to eat the bone. Because I want to eat. I would want to eat all of it. I want to finish my plate. You would. You would just leave a bone. I can't eat the bone. I do. A part of me wants to kind of give you some credit by being like, oh, you know, I feel like sometimes you're getting like a little ripped off by not getting more meat sometimes when you get a traditional wing. Like you get this big juicy wing and you bite into it and it's like a lot more bone than you expected, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like, man, I was hoping I'd get a lot more food than this. But it's never because I'm like, oh, I want to eat more bone, you know? Are you sure? Do you not want to eat more bone? Maybe that could be Chick Fil A's new logo. I want to eat more slogan. bone. Eat more bone. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, uh, I really chicken. I think I know it's like it's like known to be like a cheap food, or whatever. Fucking chicken is so damn good. Right yeah, on? chicken's kind of like an ultra food, huh? It's so fucking good. Like you, you can't like. There's there are very few ways where you can actually you can make chicken and it sucks. Well, it's it's also just very it. versatile. You know, right. you can season it to be whatever you want. Chicken can be a little boring and bland. You can do some boiled chicken or even some grilled chicken. Yeah. It can be kind of light and quirky. It can be like a little lemon right. broccoli situation. It can be kind of light and fun and a little girly. It can yeah. be fried. It can be a fried thing. Mm-hmm. It could be like spicy. Kick your ass too. It could be kind of mean. Some right. chicken. Yeah, you don't, you don't want mean chicken though. You know? I understand. Leave us a comment of other ways to make chicken. Or don't. We should go to Raising Cane's, should we? I mean, this has only been going for like 40-something minutes. Yeah, and it takes an hour to get there and back. Does uh, it? Yeah. Oh, you're going to a different Raising Cane's? Yes. Okay, yeah, let's do it. How do you think this episode is? How do you, mid, mid-episode. How how we feeling? Uh, I feel like we've done a lot. You think? Raising Cane's. I don't know if it did it. Oh yeah. I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that. Uh, which shit. which one? The one in Lakewood. Where's Lakewood? I don't know. There should be one in Lakewood. Is it north or south? What? Lakewood. I don't know. Does it, should, should he give you options? But yeah, I'm looking at them. I don't know which. Should not, it does not just say raising canes in Lakewood. Oh wait, here we go. Thirteen miles. It feels weird to have the little ridge in here. Here. You don't like the ridge? You're not Ridger? Richard. What's my dad's name? <laughs> I feel like we wrapped up season one. I guess, have we even called it a season publicly before? Season one of what? CNS. I don't know. You know this, is po- this will come out post season one of CNS. And then we're doing a little drop surprise right now. Two. A little, little double surprise. Yeah, a little double feature yep. surprise. Um, so, you know, might might be a bit before you get more of that. But, um, you know, figured we'd check in and say hello. Zach, I'm just happy to be here with you. You're I'm happy to be good here, old, too. Good old Cleveland. Good old Cleveland. Believe land. Cleveland rocks. Let me get some chicken. Bro, I'm kind of pumped. I'm fucking hungry. Dude. Hungry as shit is the best time to tear into some raisin canes. I'm like, I'm like, I am, I am a hungry, I'm a hungry little baby boy. I'm a little hungry, handsome, hey baby boy. Bet you are. Um, you know, I, I gotta, I, 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 we were talking about. We were talking. We were talking about the best fast foods, and we, I know we've been like kind of beating around the bush here, we're beating around the little boy pussy here, but McDonald's is my number one. Because I, I, I said that, I said that. kind of ruined my reputation. Of I know, I know. It kind of just fucking. It's suck. just the versatility. Of, it's just the versatility of the, the, the McDonald's meals. Like you could just do anything with them. Like you could just put mash them together, and they're still good. Probably because they're all made of the same pink sludge garbage. Mm-hmm. But it, it always tastes so fucking good. I'm a, I'm a big McDonald's simp. Yeah, at least they process it down to where it at least just like even if it's gross, it's like right. That's edible. what I'm thinking. Kind of. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, and I fucking, you know what I really, like, I miss every time, but every time I have it, I remember why I don't miss it. Well, so, actually, not every time. Uh, Dairy Queen. Dude, Dairy Queen's food's underrated. I haven't had Dairy Queen food in a while. 
I had a blizzard uh, a few months back, and I'm like, this shit still goes hard. Like, as a, you know, you have, like you were talking about hot dogs earlier. Food as a kid is just a different experience than food as an adult. Mm-hmm. Food as a kid, you're like, give me like the most salt, give me the most sugar, give me the most disgusting shit ever. You're just trying to stimulate your taste buds. You're just trying to stimulate your taste buds. Anything to get your little fucking rocks off, kids. And, um, and now, now I'm an adult, and I'm like, things I liked as a kid, like I used to fucking go down on, go suck in the caca mac and cheese, right? I used to fucking eat mac and cheese up, bro. That, what happened to that tree? Did like, did like someone punch, like one punch man punch that tree at the top? You see that? Yeah. It's like, it's like a fucking, like that. Um. What was I saying? Kids eating yeah, food? Yeah. Turn right. Kids fucking... Fucking kids. Wait, I... No no Drake. No Drake. Um, we're recording this in the middle of a rap beef yes. right now. Yeah, we're... So, so this is coming if out these references weeks, are right? a little outdated, yeah. then... Sorry. Um... I like that little. But kids, kids just eat. There. Kids just trying to stimulate stimulate their taste buds, and like I, a lot of the food that I liked when I was a kid, I don't like anymore. Like hot dogs, and been like you know, I, I I'll, I'll fucks with a hot dog, but not too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Bro's a glizzy globbler. Yeah, I'm a glizzy globbler, and every but every time I go to 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 Dairy Queen, I'm like, this still kind of hits, bro. Still kind of hits. I I, I I feel iffy about it because it is just. You like, feel like not no. Very few people are. Miles. Turn right. You okay. feel like very few. And then turn left. Yeah. Okay. You feel like very few people are still showing up to Dairy Queen and ordering actual food. Like it used to happen. Yeah. And then like you just don't hear of anyone doing that anymore. Yeah. But every turn time. Right. And then turn left. But every time you do that, every time you go back, it's like still the same. And consistency, honestly, is sometimes the most important thing right. in a business. Right. I fucks with consistency. I fucks with consistency. Yeah. That's yeah. why this past, like, honestly, since January of this show has been pretty cool. We're about to flip the table a little bit on that, but yeah. it's been cool to experience an actual consistent YouTube channel for a moment. I got to start. I fucks with, uh, I fucks with cookie dough a lot. Yeah. I had um, fucking vouchers for days. Remember that? I do. I know, didn't no. It wasn't. Didn't Ty have those? Ty had them. Yeah. Um. What the fuck was that sound? I, I don't. Pothole in fifty feet. Who gives a shit? <laughs> that was so loud. That's that, that right there. Who gives a shit? Um. Wild. <laughs> Turn right. Can we do at featuring at Steve Downs yeah. for this episode? Yeah. Fake taxi featuring Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's horrible. Holy shit. Um, yeah, but I fucks with cookie dough really hard. If I get an ice cream and it has cookie dough in it, I, it's just game. Like, that's just, that, they can't get better for me. Like, I, I'll eat, like, cinnamon. Cinnamon got me on a cho- uh, uh, in a chokehold, as does cookie dough. And you know what it is? Bro, I feel like I could concoct something good for you. Dude. All right, listen. When I was a kid, my you parents... You feel like you're easily concoctable. I'm, I'm probably... I, you can probably twist my uh, cock as much as you want, and I'll cream all over the world. But I, my parents were very... They, they, they made sure I wasn't eating shitty, right? So when... I'm a kid. I can't like. I, I want. I want cookie dough. I want cinnamon toast crunch specifically, and I can't have it. And I think that like made me want it more to the point where it changed what I want. Like as far as food in general. You want to take a knife sharpening class? You want to take? A, we can. We can sharpen a knife. A knife. Jesus Christ. Sharpen a knife. Yeah. These are these are these are the backwood streets of Cleveland, Ohio. Sure. Like one mile. I want to be here. Turn right. Um, I feel like I like going where real people live. You know. Like that. I don't like how it jiggles. It's pissing me. We gotta get on the highway, dude. I'm gonna cry. I don't like the cryway. Turn right. This dude is just parked in the road. That's like a fucking fancy ass Buick parked in the middle of yep. this area. Um. 
Yeah, so I, I like, as a kid, I didn't get uh, 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 Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Cookie Dough. And I remember going to, we had a little camp in our town, and one thing you get for $2 uh, was a, a few pieces of cookie dough, like that size. And I would get, and I would sometimes just manage to get $2 from my parents, and I would get it. And it was like a reward. It was like a quest reward for, for success, successfully getting money from my parents. Um, <laughs> what would you do? Would you tell them it was for cookie dough, or would you just... Um, I would say, like, I want to get something from the, the food, little food thing, and I would just get that. Um, <clears throat> and I think that permanently, like, altered how much I like cookie dough, because every time I get ice cream, I want I want chocolate chip cookie dough. I mean, it's a goaded flavor. It is a goaded flavor. Alexis for doesn't real. like it. Alexis what? doesn't like it because of the chips. She doesn't like the chips in it. And I thought, that, I think that's weird. Bro, do you want a late tonight? Find like a chocolate uh, cookie dough. Dude, we got handles out here in, in Ohio. Dude, they have handles in Arizona. It's really good. Handles is really good. Handles is the best, dude. I had oh my god, you just fucking activated fat assery Marshall over here. Snackery is that, is that Marshall. A is that a name? Snackery Marshall. Snackery. Bro? I never, you're Blackery Marshall because you hit the courts or whatever. But what did what was the fat assery? I've never heard that before. What? <laughs> fat assery Marshall? No, not that. Blackery Marshall because of the way you can jump or whatever. I can. You when, said when it. Did, when did we talk about me jumping? You said it. I said it. On a podcast. You said it. Flashback. I don't remember this. Yeah. I have a mean layup, dude. You mean layup? <laughs> that's true. The kid can jump. Like, can you, the kid can, you, can jump. That's true. You like, do it the now. Kid, kids used to call me. Kids used to call me. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> because I can jump? Yeah. You was made this like, last night? No, you made like a... No. You made okay, a, this was a long time ago. You made ago. a racist joke. Yeah, okay. like maybe gotcha. like a year ago. Yeah, it makes sense. That was, that was a different person back then. But, um... Yeah. If it's the same handles I'm thinking of, and I hope it is, because handles is great. I thought it was just like a little tiny local spot. But you're saying it's like a national chain? There's a fuck ton of them in Ohio specifically. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, I had their banana cream pie ice yep. cream Fire. in a hot fudge sundae. Fire. So it's hot fudge mm-hmm. on banana cream pie mm-hmm. ice ice mm-hmm. cream. Take, take, take the camera Bro, out quick. Don't, don't, oh, take the camera <laughs> Yeah, don't film this. This is a fucking, this looks like a cult compound. Does it not? Hold on. This? Yeah, does it not look like you like a cult lives here? This place yeah, scares me. Yeah, I mean, I guess me. a little bit. I feel like I'm, if I walk in, I'm just going to get, like, cursed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get skulled in RuneScape. Yeah, so norm, normal people probably live here. Or is it, like, a school or I something don't like know. that? I don't know. It's horrifying. Oh, it's a food bank. <laughs> Shit. Should we just get some food from there instead? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're struggling. Baby, let's get a front shot for once. You can finally see where we're going. Hey, censor, be sure to censor this. Yeah, now they they know this guy. Oh, you're going to like this next area that we're going to drive through, I think. Yeah. Like it as in I don't think you're going to like it. You might want to keep the camera out. Here, I can just stay like this for a minute. Um, But this is where I wanted, originally wanted Brian to bring the drone to fly through. Oh, for like B roll? Yep. In half a mile. Keep right. Stay the course. You might like this area. It's, it might be like homey to you. To me? Yeah, look. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a wonderful place. It's just cameras panning too fast. Oh, look at that. In point Little run, miles. some rundown factories. Keep right. A bunch of stuff on Stay them. the course. It's kind of cool. Little tour of Cleveland. I would love this to go there if there is. wasn't a bunch of crackheads there. I'm sure there are. A bunch yeah, there of was a really there. cool. I should have had the camera out. I saw like an observatory area that was abandoned that was really graffiti. Yeah. And my first instinct was, I have to go in there and like check it out. But yeah. then I think about all the crazy people we've encountered already, and I'm like, they probably live in there. Right. You know. Right. In point one miles. I I love when I was when I was in a safer area. I would loved loved going through abandoned buildings. Yeah. Because there were, there was only like a 50% chance of, of meeting a crackhead in there. Well, even then, like, I don't know. I've met some crackheads that are nice. There's just the concentration of them out here. You can't let them run things. You know? Yeah, you have to be the alpha crackhead. The alpha crackhead. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be top crack. Right. You have to be cracked. Bro, is, that's a red light. He, he, he's taking it right. He's fine. We're just yelling at people for taking right-hand turns. 
Bro, it's crazy that there are Kia boys in, in Ohio. I mean, I'm sure there are Kia boys Kia everywhere. Kia boys? You, ever heard of, you haven't heard of the Kia boys? No, I have not heard Dude, of Kia boys. Dude, it's like a boys. thing now. It's a, it's, it's, so you can easily um, hard, uh, hijack a Kia with, a, with either a screwdriver or a, a USB. Do you want to test it out for the podcast? Maybe both, actually. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But dude, it would be so crazy today if we had breakfast corn dogs, Krispy Kreme donuts, Raisin Canes, and Handles ice cream. <laughs> You're going to go home feeling like shit. I already feel like shit. But then I'll get buff for next podcast. <laughs> that would be a cool art. And then I'll come back and eat as much as I possibly can. Then we, then we, can, we, can, film, we can film us watching uh, Naruto, starting Naruto. Yeah. And we can, like, have it so we're, like, it's just us reacting. It's then actually, there's no, like, audio to it or, like, video portion to it. <clears throat> because then it would be, like, copyright, right? Mm-hmm. So, you don't and you don't want, you don't want copyright because then you get in trouble. I wasn't listening to you. I was posting for the gram. No, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> last, last, night, last night when we left. Uh, so this is off camera. This is what, after we ended the podcast last night. I was we were talking to David and Adam afterwards, and and they Dave, told me all kinds of fucked up shit. David we could was, never put on the podcast. David was they were saying words that started with letters. Yep, buddy, specifically L. Loser. 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 Uh, yeah, they, we ended the recording and they all said it. Loser. Yeah, but we had to cut their, it. We had to cut that out. Yeah, uh, we couldn't have that on the show. Uh, David was telling a story about one of his how one of his homies kissed him on the mouth or something like that, and um, I think I did the wrong hand. I don't um, know. Pick your shot, whichever one. And then uh, during that story, I accidentally I I was trying to open a new tab, and I hit Control R instead of Control T, and it refreshed the page. And I guess as soon as I <laughs> as soon as I left. Uh, Adam, it was just Adam and David in the call, and David said, "Yeah, that's fair." <laughs> it just immediately, as soon as I left, which is uh, really funny, and uh, I feel bad for David. I would never disrespect him like that. You know, he he messaged me or he added me uh, soon thereafter, uh, after we left, and he said, "When are we playing games?" He wanted, he wants to play games with me. David wants to play games with me so. tonight. No, probably not tonight. We all should play games. Yeah, we're going to play Saints Road 2022. Oh, yeah. Are you going for a full completion? No, we're going to play, like, probably this the second time and then be like, ah, it's like, it, it, the funniness went away. It's just bad now. You know? Fair enough. My God. <laughs> it's so significantly louder than what, any what, other what sound. What is it this time? This car stopped. <laughs> I, I hope it didn't. This car stopped. There are some nice places in Lakewood. Uh, Lakewood yeah. is actually, honestly, our, uh, the guy who, um, sold, not, uh, we're renting, the guy who, who showed us the house, um, uh, he was like, oh, you guys should check out Lakewood. Lakewood's probably much better than this place, essentially is what he said. Um, and we went to Lakewood. Everything's way too expensive, but it is a very nice town. Nice. It's very homey. Homey. Me. Is that where all the cyber Large. trucks go? Yeah, yeah, like what? You like you like the like like Erie right here? I do. And did you see? <laughs> what is it this time? Car stopped. Ah, uh, I Stop sure. Stopping your car. Sure, bro. sure, hope it didn't. Anyways, ooh, you got a little parking area right there. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is like right over here too. I want to go. Yeah, we're not going. When I when we come back for date redacted. Okay. To shoot date redacted. Yep. Let's go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I can't come to Cleveland three times in a row and leave Hall of Fame. You don't even you listen to fucking Kendrick Lamar. You don't even care about rock they and roll. They put hip hop. Eminem is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, because dude. he did a song go with. We did, did that song with uh, Yellow Wolf, and Yellow Wolf did a song with Kid Rock. Duh, buddy. In one mile. You don't need Kid to make Rock, rock music to be awesome. rock and roll. Yo, cap, say cap right now. Cap. But right. it's true. I don't want to. Anyways, um, I can't go to Cleveland three times and be Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I've never, I've never even been there. 
I figures. This is the first time I've gotten you. This this whole episode is just getting you out of the house. You're usually not out of the house this no. much. Not Last time more. I was here, it was how was Cleveland, and I was like, well, Eyes up. we haven't done anything in Cleveland. That's the so, Rock and Hall of Fame right there. <laughs> yeah, you should take me that there. Little, that little wigwam. Yeah. What? A wigwam? Is that re- if I Google this later? And that's incorrect. I'm going to slap look the shit wigwam. out of you. Look up Wigwam I'll right look now. Up. Look up Wigwam. Eyes up. But yeah, dude, like music is my life. So when I come back. Okay. You're like kind of right, but not. I still want to slap you. To Wigwam. Uh, whatever, dude. You ever went to like a, you ever went to like a Native American, like, like t- teaching session um so my yes. little Cherokee boy so yes I have but I will inform you that those are east coast natives the west coast natives aren't hanging out in wigwams you're saying you're saying only east coast native Americans where there are trees let's put it that where way where there are trees there are wigwams <laughs> yeah when there's wigwams there are trees that's the, that's the title for the episode <laughs> That'd be a really shitty title. That would be the most unsearchable title we've ever had. <laughs> the one- Where there are trees, there are wigwams. <laughs> if I didn't already have a title for this episode, that would be a contender. Yeah. Dude, there's so many fucking abandoned buildings in here. Dude, Cleveland just for real is one of those cities where I'm like, why do people live here? Like, Cheap. why do you live here? Like, Cheap. I guess, I guess that is true. But, like, you fly in and it's just gray. And it's just half the buildings are just abandoned. You know? Yeah. I, I know. Kind of cool. If you're an Urban X guy, it must be kind of neat. You know you know what it is for me, brother? It's the fact that I don't have to go anywhere, and I don't can't be forced to go into the office. Hey, I, I guess. I don't want to be I don't want to be around. Send this shit to your coworkers, dude. I don't want to be around people from my office. I don't want to be around, you know, I, I don't, I hate it. I hate talking to people. So I moved nine hours away to avoid it. So they, there's no way they can ask me to do it. They could still ask you to do it. They have. And? I was like, bro, I'm in Cleveland. What did they say? Ooh. <laughs> oh, fire. But, you know, me, me moving to Cleveland, actually, I, I became an actual full-time telecommuter. So I don't, I don't have to go anywhere now because I'm not, I'm not stationed in Connecticut or whatever anymore. Nice, nice. Yep. Because technically, when I moved jobs, I went because I, I, I had the one job I was a telecommuter, and then I moved because all my team was in Minnesota, and then I moved jobs. This is where we drove. This is the place. Do you believe in Cleveland? Cleveland, Cleveland? This place that I adore. Yeah. So this is where Ben drove me by and said, "We're in downtown Phoenix or fuck, Cleveland. downtown Cleveland." You got this. And it's like, it's a cool view. I like it a lot. I should check out that stadium at some point. But I'm not in Cleveland. I'm not in. I'm looking at it. You know. Yeah. Are you excited for raising canes? Yeah, dude. Oh, is this that big fucking factory out there? I don't know if you can see that from here. This factory is massive. Massive factory, bro. Yeah. Uh, I want to go to an acid factory. Massive factory. What was I just talking about before the? This whole trip, both podcasts we've done have just been like ADHD nightmares. They're, they're, they're deranged. Just, yeah, it's just no right. firm direction. It's fine though. They're different. They'll be funny. They're different. Different and funny. I mean, anything that isn't just us sitting at our desks, it's probably better than just sitting at our desks. You know? Yep. I just want. I just want to eat. I'm so it's fucking right. hungry. I just want to get eat. I just want to get eight. Yeah, Lakewood's nice. Hopefully that means that the Canes is nice, too. Maybe. Watch it not be a drive-thru. I've never seen a Raising Canes without a drive-thru. That'd be a bit of a trip. Yeah, I'd make you go in. I have social anxiety. Would you make me go in mic'd up? Yes. And I would film you from afar. Because I have really good zoom on that camera. Honestly, would you go hard? Like, hey, can I have a? Hi, I'm Zach. Um, actually, can I have a? That's what you sound like. No, like I'd girl. go, hey, bitch. 
What if it's a guy? Get me two box cabas. If it's a one guy, no, if, one no coleslaw, extra fries, one no coleslaw, extra toast. If it was a guy, would you show him more respect than if it was a girl? <laughs> what kind of question is this? <laughs> would I show more respect? Would your black ass show <laughs> more respect than if it was her? Dude, that was so funny. You know what's you know what's funny about those type of jokes is when I make them, I think they're really funny. And I do think they're like, it's like on the edge of being offensive, but I don't think it's problematic at all. But then when we keep doing it, you know, it's like starts to push it. Yeah. And then someone will just say something that's not even like truly offensive, but like they'll just call it racist. And then from that moment forward, calling back to it is actually racist now that someone else in front of you called it racist. And then you're, yeah. Yeah, when Adam started talking about the chirping multiple times. Yeah. Well, now this is the third episode with references to that, so... Your fault. Actually, I brought it up. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't even bring it up last night. I was content with it being, hey, we're going to run with this joke for an episode, and then I'm going to drop it. But nope, three episodes, and we're, we're here. Yeah, it's your fault. Yeah. God, I love Cleveland. We should get we should get Ty in person to do this. I you're gonna say tattoos. I All asked right, Ty to come in person on this trip. This trip. Yeah, he said that he was too busy editing the Great Isaiah's Guide to Halo Machinimas to plan a trip. That's fair. I don't know if Ty is ready to meet his biggest fan either. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, he'd be a bit starstruck by his biggest fan. Yeah, I, that's. I think he'd have some issues being here. I don't know if starstruck is the is the reason. Give me yeah. three issues that he'd have being here. He'll see your ass. Okay. He'll have to sleep on your floor, maybe, depending on how many people are here. Okay, so what? Uh, and he is a grown-ass man who is just voluntold to fly to somewhere he's never been to before with no way of getting out. <laughs> he would be so happy to do that. I don't know maybe that well, would. but I, I'm, I'm making that statement. I offered to pay for his flight potentially if it was cheap enough I, I i didn't say it officially but i was gonna look at like it would depend on what airport he would fly out of and when but i just want to see ty here that would have been in lieu of buying the tv we could you eat, know we could eat thai with thai food thai food with thai thai food with thai with thai's well, now on. we have to do it thai food with thai's with thai's on at a tire at a and we have, to, we have to try to do a competition. We all we we tie at the end. I do want to. If we do another like podcast, podcast in person, I want to look for a location. Okay. I want to look for like a, a space to rent for like an hour, like two hours. Okay. Or find like an empty lot somewhere or something. Ties tie tie food where we tie we we tie tie ties ties tie ties tie tie food. Com, uh, ties, tie. Say that ten times fast. I can't even say it for once. Ties, tie, tie food. In one mile. <laughs> Exit right. Fall out. Uh, ka, ka, combat, I don't remember. Comma chameleon. You ready for the raising canes? How far away are we? I don't know. Fucking seven minutes or something. Bro, the Cavs are in the playoffs right now while I'm here. We should have went to a fucking NBA game. NBA? I don't really like basketball that much. But... Oh, that's, cool. why, that's why I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, NBA? Honestly, you said Cavs and I thought it was football. No. The Cavs are an NBA team. I will say. Is it right? Fall out. Uh, soccer is the most boring sport ever. Period. Football, I, I don't know any. I don't know how the rules work, so it's more boring to me. Baseball and and <coughs> basketball, watching them, right. not that great. Playing them, best best sport. Baseball is so fucking fun. As is basketball. Yeah. Turn right. I went to another baseball game last week. I was this week actually. Um, it was fun, but it was kind of a nightmare. So, like, I bought a parking pass on SeatGeek, okay? Because mm-hmm. it's just, I didn't want to deal with the whole showing up and it's crowded and there are people just haggling you for parking spots, right? Yeah, as, as they do. And there's um, 
in downtown Phoenix, there's like Chase Field here and Footprint Center here, and that's where the Chase Field's the baseball stadium where the Diamondbacks play, and uh, Footprint Center is like, it's where concerts happen, but it's also where the Phoenix Suns play. And in between, on Jefferson Street, is a big parking garage. Right. So I spent the money previously on it, and I've never really had issues. This time, I just so happened to purchase the uh, parking pass on SeatGeek. I'm driving there, and this first part's my fault. I take a wrong turn, and because it's just so traffic heavy, it makes me like 20 minutes late, right. like already, and I'm like, shit. Um, then I finally get to the point where I'm going in the parking garage, and the lady goes, oh, we don't accept tickets from SeatGeek. And what I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What? Um, so she's like, you're going to have to pay again. And I did. I paid it again. And she was like, yeah, you'll have to call them or something. And fast forward till after this happens, I do end up reaching out to SeatGeek customer support, which is a bitch How to find. How much were these tickets, by the way? The parking pass? Yeah. Parking pass was like, like I'll be honest with you, I spent like 40 bucks on it. Jeez, which is a be, lot. I'd be pissed. But that's... um. That's because it's like that specific parking garage. Like there are cheaper parking alternatives, but you'd have to like again go through the random lots outside of downtown. Yeah, and, you know the people for cash and whatnot. But um, yeah, so I pay it again through them, just thinking like, okay, I'll have to get a refund. And then fast forward later, I reach out to SeatGeek, and they're like, well, we have a partnership with the MLB, so that wouldn't happen. So we're not giving you a refund because that just wouldn't happen. You just double paid for no reason. Well, I I eventually called my bank and disputed it, and they they, they got me my money back. But um, that was frustrating during the time because I had just double paid for yeah. already really expensive parking. Um, then I show up late, and we're already down like five nothing, which in baseball is like, yeah, kill yourself, dude. Yep. Um, in half a mile. Turn left. Then, uh, you know, it was cool. I like being in the ballpark. The rest of the experience there was fun. I will say, I bought tickets to see the Suns play the Dodgers because I wanted to see Shohei Otani play. He did not play that night. Okay. So that also kind of sucked, but still. You know. Uh, are we going to do regurgitated baseball? I told you on this trip I could buy a ticket to the fucking guy. I want to go in that no, park. I, I it seems wanna, cool. I want to be the baseball. Oh, I can smack your head around. No, imagine if we got like we made a team of all of our friends, all all of our our, our guests and stuff, and then we pitted them against two. Um, the Cleveland Guardians. Hmm. We need we need what? It's like nine people per team or whatever. Right. Um. I'm thinking. Of, I'm thinking of innings probably. How many people are per team on in baseball? Probably like nine. Yeah, eight or nine. We have. We, well, we'll have enough people. Right? Yeah. And we need to get someone else who has nine friends or eight friends. So every every guest us and every guest versus nine other people. Why did we start a podcast? Well, I don't because well, I want to play baseball. I see, I see, I see. KT turnstall, suddenly I see. Where is this? Right back there. Go forward by that stop sign. Keep going straight. We made it to Raising Canes in Lakewood. Well, you can't see it from there, but... Is it back here? It's right there. It's the building right back here. Wait. Wait, I can't take a left? Take a left. Look at that! <laughs> This will be the weirdest audio podcast. Yeah, it'll be strange. It'll be a lot of car noise. Destination reached. Well done out there. I'll be ready for the next mission. Just wait me when you need me. Bro, we're going to Canes. Is that what it, is that like the, the what do they call it? Just Canes? What? They call it canes? Yeah. Not Where'd raising you? canes. I mean, you can call it be there. Okay, let me see what I let me see, let me see what I want.
One moment, please. One moment, please. What do I get? It's all just chicken fingers, dude. I know. Here's what I'm going to get, and you can take lead from this. I'm going to get a box combo, no coleslaw, extra fries. Or I'll do extra, yeah, extra fries. And a lemonade. There's a squirrel right here. Leave me alone. I will say, some people like the sandwich, but it's just tenders on bread, and you don't get the Texas toast, and I feel like mm. the Texas toast is a staple of Cane's. Gotcha. And just be aware you can sub the coleslaw for, for anything. Okay. Do you want to, I guess I'll get what you got. Yeah. What you get, and then I'll... Am I just going to get three of those? I guess, sure. Hello, I am ready. Can I get, I don't, I don't remember what you wanted. Uh, a box combo with no coleslaw, extra fries, and can a I, lemonade. Can I get a box combo with no coleslaw, extra fries, and a... What lemonade. Is, lemonade. No. I'll also get... <laughs> you know, actually, no. You know, give me, no. Give me the, the, the cognac combo. The cognac? He said cognac combo. What did I say? Said cognac? Oh, no, no, uh, uh, as well. On top of it. Can I get uh, the, the, the cognac combo? It's cognac. Cognac? Cognac combo. Jesus Christ. It's uncultured. With a uh, root beer. And then can I get a sandwich combo with a Sprite? That'll be it. Ben. All right, thank you. And when you get up here, ask them for ketchup in the bag. <laughs> Hello. Ben? Yes. Okay. Damn. Ketchup, idiot. Ketchup up there when they give you the food. I'm done spending money after this. Yeah, is that is that copium? Spent fifty uh, fifty bucks on a car wash and some cane. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. Yeah, you have the receipt too. Yell at them for ketchup. And then scream. Turn right. Shut up. Bring me home. Turn right, and then turn right. How long have we been going? Huh? How long have we been going? Hour. Hour 25. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Ben. Can I also get ketchup in the bag, too? Thank you. Oh, I guess we're, we're, we're going to be sitting b before we drive. That's what I'm doing. Fuck. I'm not drinking this coffee. This coffee is trash. Thank you. Any ketchup or hot sauce? Yeah, ketchup in the bag. Wow. It's the longest you've ever waited at a drive thru for. Uh, probably that, that Starbucks like a month ago when I was in the drive thru for like over an hour. Wait, did you tell the story before? Yeah. Thank you so much. Take it easy. I hope she takes it hard. Huh? I hope she takes it hard. Takes it hard? I hope she takes it hard. That's, that's fucked up to say, dude. What the F is wrong with you? Is this an electric charger? Like oh. in the middle of the road? Yeah, I just wanted you to charge your car, idiot. Hey, there's no curb. Turn right. And then... What if we just go through right. again and get a different food? <laughs> I just keep recording. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back in so we don't gotta right. film anybody that doesn't want to be filmed. Fair enough. Right. Am I not the cu the cutest? Make a U-turn. Let's go finish this. Yeah, right. I am sure. such a good at parking. You see this? As he, he says, as he's parking on the line. Yeah. I'm actually gonna fix that. <laughs> no, I don't think people are rushing for this parking spot right now. You don't think people are rushing? Look at that. That squirrel, squirrel was really thinking about jumping in the car. I'll be real with you. I was nervous for a second. All right, I'm hungry. All right, I don't know what what is what to so like do it. You fucking traitor. 
take my, my seatbelt off. I'm relaxing, Max and smacking ass. Did you get your girlfriend a three finger? I got um, uh, my girlfriend a uh, chicken sandwich. Oh, that's probably it. So this. Uh, what are you looking at me like that for? It says box combo on it. This says Caniac on it. If this is not really fucking good, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna feel it, buddy. You're gonna Bro. feel it. Oh, look at that! Look at that, dude. Oh shit! Wait, hold on. See that? See that? You want ketchup? No, I got like I got like beige sauce here. Cane sauce is good, is good. I don't even like mayo. It's definitely a mayo-y based sauce, but it, it goes stupid. The fries are pretty good. Oh yeah. This looks fresh too. Oh shit, that's like hot as shit. Yeah. Is that not normal? No, it's good. You know? That's that, good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In May of 2022. Yeah. When I approached you with the idea of making a podcast, right? Yeah. Did you think? I'd be eating raisin canes in Cleveland, Ohio. Two years later. Two almost, years later. Almost exactly two years later. No, I couldn't have predicted that. It is almost exactly two years, huh? This is just bread. It's just like nice bread. Texas toast. Oh my god. Good, right? Oh shit. I'm telling you. Raising canes is the truth. This is good. You're not you're not a fan of the coleslaw, huh? No. You fucking pussy. I fucking love coleslaw. And again, Raising Cane's quality has been really inconsistent recently. But this one. This is hitting, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is how we end the show eating canes. We still got like 30 minutes. We can just hang out. Yeah. Um, this is how all shows should end, though. With a few boxes of Raising Cane's in the back. I gotta take you to Maryland, get you some Lido's. Lido's? Mm hmm. Where the fuck is Lido? I just wanna get pizza. <laughs> or like Phoenix. I know good food in Phoenix, but whatever. You don't, you don't invite me over, though. Fine, you're invited. So, what you should do? What you should do? <clears throat> Just invite me over, and then I'll show up. You also look like a freak, so it's kind of hard. What the fuck does that mean? Look at him. All right. How are you feeling on canes so far? First impressions? So the, I've only had one bite of the chicken. The fries, I'm like fucking scarfing down. They're pretty well seasoned, too. Sometimes canes fries are like are a little bland. They seasoned them pretty well this time. I might like, salt, but I'm happy with this food 100. percent How about you? I'm satisfied. Feeling good. Feeling good, buddy. I'm feeling great. Look, I'm splitting that bitch, and just some steam's coming out. Oh, I'm like burning my hand. Woo! Why did I never go to fucking Raising Cane's before? It was good, dude. Stay it up. Mm, so tuna. Not a bone in sight. Are these girls arguing over there? Drama? They're like yelling at each other. Want to go film them? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Hey. Not even about the podcast anymore. I'm just living life. I wanted to look something up. I forgot. Oh, I wanted to see how I look, how I look on the camera, how fat I look. What if it just wasn't recording? <laughs> don't, even, don't, even, don't even drink it, dude. It'd be really funny. You know what we should do? What should we do? We should like book a theater tonight and premiere this episode. Like a red carpet thing? Okay. Who's Get everyone who, in. Oh, who, yeah. Who's the guest? Huh? Who are the guests? Steve Buscemi. 
Steve Wilkos. Steve will do it. Mike Will made it. Scott the Waz. Marjorie and Barr. Where's Mar? I think if I sent Roseanne Barr the video we made about her invite and invited her on, if she would come. What would you fucking talk about with us? We'll debate Donald Trump. Does she like him or does she hate him? I can't tell. She loves him. But we'll debate whether or not he's a woman with her. You know? Okay. Almost either. Talk about getting canceled. Talk about getting pinned. Then we'll end it like plug talk with Adam 22 and we'll fuck her. Or we'll talk about, we'll end it like plug talk with Adam the cat and mm. plug him. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Yeah, they do. He was a comment. <laughs> he was a comment. <clears throat> say, I don't, say, what is blood even yapping about? Yeah, if you don't get it, or if you do get it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you do get it and you are subscribed, go get some raising canes. If you have one near you. If you don't have one near you, go to nearest Walmart, buy a, buy a hunting rifle. Tell you a few rounds in that bitch. Buy a gun. Shoot your brains out. What? Has your life changed? Are you having a living cane? Yeah. No. Are you a caniac? Or are you a caniac? Cognac? Are you a caniac? Oh, it's like raising caniac. It's like yes. maniac. So I said cognac because it, <clears throat> it only makes sense that it was pronounced cognac. There's no world without a pronounced caniac. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the um, Origin Cane. The Caniac's at home. Yeah. Oh my God. How are you going to edit this part? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, just super cut it. I'm just, I'm about to just put my seat back. Just relax for a while. Definitely a meal that puts you in a food coma. Mm-hmm. If I was ever, like, lost at sea, you know? And you wanted to sleep, you would just get Raising Cane's. <laughs> yeah, I would park my raft, my makeshift lost at sea raft in a Raising Cane's drive through But no, if I was, like, ever, like, lost in a mountain for weeks... And this is, I had needed one meal to like just fill me up. Bro, this, and I'm passing out. It's not every day you get to show someone new Raising Canes. Mm -hmm. A minute ago, I was hungry. Look at me now. Oh, it's raining. Is there rain? Is there rain plus the Raising Canes plus the podcast? My dream is a, a, so, like, a so romanticized vision of Cleveland podcasting in a car while eating Raising Canes. While training. Should I do like a food review short right now? Yeah. Hi, everyone. During the podcast. Today, too. I'm halfway through a meal at Raising Cane's. Um, typically, when you make TikToks like this or YouTube shorts like this, you want to start like with the food and introducing things. Um, Raising Cane's is just so good that I had to like demolish half of it before even, you know, getting into it. So if you guys like this video, leave a comment or subscribe or follow. You're not going to say if it's good or bad. Yeah, leave us a comment if something's good or not. I love you. Smash that button. Sorry, I got canes. Yeah.
Oh, I got my phone. Good. You good? I'm great, bro. I'm great. <clears throat> wow. Oh, man. I feel fantastic. Yeah. Full. <clears throat> All right. Raising canes right here. Whoa, raising canes. Take my shoes off, my feet up. I'm eating. My little toesies, my toesy woesies. It's horrifying. All right, you try me back. Huh? Hmm? You kidding me? I said, all right, drive me back. I'm relaxing, bro. I'm maxing, relaxing, all cool. With a little boy outside of the school, kiss me on the lips. No jersey. Whoa, is that a black squirrel? It's a black squirrel. Shit. Here. That's good, man. I'm a heaven. Almost heaven. West Virginia. My mama. Kind of near West Virginia. We're in Ohio. We're somewhere near West Virginia. Where is West Virginia? A border is Ohio. Okay, Google, take me to West Virginia. Okay, Google, take me to West Virginia. How far away is that? No, 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 it's not telling me. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Here's some results from the web. Well, the web's giving you results. Okay, Google. How far away is West Virginia? Time wise, you bitch. She said 308 miles away. 108? 308. Oh. All right, that's bad. So I think it's closest, closest home, like Connecticut. <clears throat> no. I think it's 400 miles to Connecticut. I want to figure out where in West Virginia because West Virginia borders Ohio. No Connecticut shot. does not. No shot. All right. I'm done. Let me throw this away. Pull up to a trash can at that gas station and I'll throw our food away. Yeah. Chill for a while. I'm living life right now. You don't understand. I mean, I get it. But. I'm going to go places to be. It's raining. Wait for it to stop raining. Maybe we can go somewhere. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Wake up. Go to sleep. Again. Uh. I can get home, play RuneScape. Craft some diamond necklaces. And do some good shit. Dude, I'm done. I'm done working. This is work. Huh? This is work. You just got out of Raising Canes? Yeah. Podcasters be like, I'm sorry, I have a box combo due by four. <laughs> Shut up. You think they're going to see my feet? No shot. I have, like, really wrinkly feet, don't I? I want to go home. Eat your food. I ate my food. Do you, do you feel like I have really wrinkly feet? <sighs> your feet are perfect just as they are. Is that a look. Kane's employee walking up to us? Wait, get down. Don't look. Shit. 
Holy shit, that's so scary. What if, he, what if he kills her? You have the camera, pussy. Why are we filming somebody? <laughs> Wait, can you do that again? <gasps> uh, oh. Two hours is a long time, huh? Two hours is a long ass time. Audio listeners, comment. What are they commenting? Wait, how are they commenting? Can you comment on Spotify songs? No, right? No. That'd make it cool, though. They'd never do it. Too pussy. Wait, can I do this? Let me leave public comments on Spotify. Does that look cool? Hmm? Yeah, it looks very cool. <laughs> I look like I don't care. You know what I mean? What is this podcast about, Ben? We got Raising Cane's. You told me a $13 in and out gift card if I got in the car. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't actually do. Hold on. I meant to, sorry. I meant to ask you. I had a few questions that I had to ask you. I think I just turned on econ mode. I don't know what that does. Um, <clears throat> sorry. You're right. I'm being unprofessional. Being, being unprofessional, I'm sorry. You're totally right. So I I, I I did invite you in here because I had a few uh questions about specific topics um relate kind of adjacent to your career path and to your your life path that I think that you'll really drive with and I mean have you have a pretty like uh expansive uh uh opinions on um and I don't know if there's anybody else that I'd rather ask these questions specifically. They're pretty, they're pretty like specific to you kind of questions, you know, like I think you'd have a really good answer to these questions that I have for you. <laughs> I don't, I have, so my first question is, <clears throat> where do you start? Mm -hmm. Where do you start? Go, going going home. I don't want to drive anymore, dude. Don't don't try to don't want to go. I don't want to drive anymore, dude. Well, uh, can I just stay here? Can I sleep here? Can I just, this be the airport? <clears throat> can this be the airport? Can a raising canes be an airport? <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, we don't gotta go home, but I do feel like there has to be a point to this. To what? This sitting, sitting at raising canes. Yes. Well, I, I had questions for you that only that I think only you can have the answer to. Yeah. Where do you start? You know, what I, I, I'm asking myself that a little bit. You know, it's like what 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 can I do to properly express the importance of the questions I'm going to be asking, and what why would I even ask the questions? You know, it's 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 one of it's a big life mystery. You know, it's it's a. Uh, it's always like really, you don't want to be too long winded in your questions and you don't want to be too short winded in your answers a lot of the time. So it's very, un, it's, un, it's just weird. It's just a weird thing to ask questions to somebody who's so knowledgeable on a subject that doesn't even, truly doesn't, might, might not have a definitive answer, but has definitive thoughts, you know? I do have definitive it's thoughts. Definitive thoughts, a lot of them, and I, yeah. you know, I think you get that coming from a guy like me, who, you as a kid, he was just getting, you just he was catching frogs, you know, catching a lot of frogs. Those are the times, man. Big net, a lot of frogs, and tadpoles, tadpole, <laughs> tadpole eggs too. You know about the frog army guy? No, I think I still wonder if it's fake or not. Like I think I've seen some people said it was fake, but. There's this guy, I think he was in the UK somewhere, and he found like a pond full of tadpoles, and you know, they spawn like a billion of the little frog eggs, but mm -hmm. most of them don't survive the conditions mm -hmm. of the real world. And so only a small percentage of them turn into full on frogs and blossom, or they're, they're eggs, they're the eggs, right? And then they become tadpoles. And this guy, 
bless his heart, got like a hundred of them. He just would scoop it. He got a giant bucket full of frog eggs that he found in the lake. And he brought it back to his house and like nursed each and every one of them to like fully spawning. And so when uh, he released them, there were like millions of frogs and he completely ruined the ecosystem of... I think you did tell me about that. I think you yeah. kind of explained that before. We should probably do that with people. Actually, that's kind of what overpopulation is, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good thing that it's kind of hard to make a person. We'll talk about it. All I got to do is come at a bitch. Uh, it just takes so much time. It takes about 50, and it's, five it takes minutes two, for me to come. It, it takes two people to make one baby. You know? Yeah, but that, but it also could take one person to make a bunch of babies. You see what I'm saying? So you have one, you have one no, designated woman. No, but you still got woman. one woman. Yeah, you got one designated woman to, to everybody comes and but makes I'm a bunch saying, of babies. But I'm saying like a frog could lay like a billion fucking eggs, you mm. know? Well, you don't know what happens if you come a lot into one woman, you know? But, it might not be as efficient as a frog, but if everybody comes in one woman, is that, a, that could be a bunch of babies. Nobody tried it. Ultraman. You think there's some like girl in college who tried that and was like, I want to make a bunch of babies. <laughs> yeah. and she just, they had like a train yeah. right on her. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh no, no babies. Maybe if there's like a different way you could intake the babies, maybe through the mouth or something too. You think she, that, she could try to take it like in the mouth. Oh, in the mouth and, and in the boosie and in the butt and the ear and the eye. Do you think she would get HPV? Well, we're typically vaccinated against that these days. Maybe you are. I have HPV. You are a human papillona virus. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Papillona? Who's that? I think, is it papillona? So is that the guy that found it? <laughs> Mr. Papillona? I just want to get virus. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thanks for buying me Raising Canes, by the way. I never, I never thanked you. And thank you for buying the... the um, the cigarette lighter thing. Oh yeah, thank you for buying McDonald's. Yeah, I'm welcome. buying you nothing else on this trip. That's fine. I'll um <clears throat> kill yourself. Yeah. Handles. Yep, handles. Raising canes is always one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get this, and then I'm gonna like do other things. And then you eat raisin canes, and you're like, why yeah, did I'm, I ever think I could do another thing I'm, again? I'm, like, done for the week, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm feeling good. I don't need to fly back tomorrow. I'm fine. Good, yeah. Just chill. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm having a good time. I think, uh, you know, I think, it, you know, it takes a lot out of you. I'm driving around, sitting down and driving around for a while, playing some Suica. You know, texting and driving, getting drunk while driving. Takes a lot out of you. Did we do that? Uh, I did it. Um, so, no, I, I get it. I, uh, I'm with you. I am, I am, I am with you. Remember when you fell asleep on the podcast last night? That was crazy. Yeah. Remember, remember that? Yeah. Remember when you did that? That was crazy. I, we're, we're doing it kind of again. Well, yeah, I'm about to fall asleep on some real shit, bro. It's just, that shit's fucking, that hit the spot, man. You know? One through ten. Raising canes? Yeah. Look at 8.5. Is that enough for you? Is that enough for you? Yeah. 8.5? That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, I like it is really good. It's no McDonald's, though. Fuck off. Do you rather have Raising Canes or McDonald's? McDonald's. A chicken nugget? Or Cane's Tendy? Cane's Tendy, 100%. What are we even doing here, folks? Yeah. Um, yeah, did you see that uh, See that Drake and Kendrick Lamar have a, have a beef going? Yeah, they uh, apparently exposed my dad. They exposed, not, they exposed your dad? They exposed my dad for not taking care of me. <laughs> you Drake's kid? Drake's well, daughter? Sh- I don't need to talk about it publicly, but... I didn't know you were... I didn't... I didn't. You know, I didn't... I Kendrick shouldn't, Lamar exposed my dad. I shouldn't have... Ex- I, f- I shouldn't have ex- expressed that you're Drake's daughter. I shouldn't have ex- expressed that so f- fragrant, flagrantly. You're Kendrick Lamar? Hey! 
It's a crazy angle, and I, I don't, like, feel that well. Oh, is the battery not working? There we go. This is, like, this is what Alexis does when she does yoga. She just sits, like, in the car like this. <clears throat> she just sits in the car like this and just puts her feet out the door, the, and let your, let your, let your little toesy woesies. One more time. Little toesy woesies, just jiggle, jiggly toesy woesies. <sighs> That's this stretch actually feels fucking incredible. I'm like, like no joke. This stretch feels fucking incredible. Like, ooh, ah, I feel it right here, right here. Ah, what happened? My wallet fell. Are we trespassing? We're not loitering, right? We bought food. I don't know what the definition specifically states between loitering and hanging out or whatever. I've definitely spent a lot of time in parking lots before. Okay. Name three parking lots. That safe way. Okay. I don't know, man. Random restaurants and shit. Have you slept, have you slept people. in a Walmart parking lot at all? Not a Walmart <clears throat> parking lot, no. Yeah. Top three things to get at Raising Cane's. The b finger. Finger, yeah. <laughs> you can the get finger, it, the get fry, finger. the finger, and then the fry, and then the root beer. Above the toast? The toast is good. It's not like... It is, I feel like if I had it alone, it'd be better than if I had it with the one fucking chicken. Like, now I don't want to think about raising cage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, fuck. I've got men in blacked. I'm like a girl in college the way I got men in blacked. They just wipe my memory. I was college for you. I dropped out. Why'd you do that? Uh, I, I was doing very poorly, and I wasn't taking it that seriously. I don't know. I was taking it seriously, but I, I don't know. High school didn't set me up well for college. Because in high school, I just showed up, and I tested well, and I didn't do homework. You know, I did, like, no homework, and I just get, got good grades and all my tests. And so they were just like, okay, good enough, you know. That means you know the thing. Well, I also would show up every day. I like never skipped, you know? Mm -hmm. I would show up every day and I would do the work and I would test well. And then when I went home, I just did none of the work they gave me for home. And that was kind of, you know, where, uh, how I got by. So when I went to college, I was just doing the same thing. I never skipped class. I showed up every day. But the thing about college is you get, you don't get points for like classwork. Mm -hmm. And like the tests are a significant portion of your grade, but not more than half, yeah. you know? So most of your, your points in college are like project based, project based. <clears throat> and I just had no, A, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, I don't remember how much time, free time I really had. I know I've always struggled with like fitting in stuff into my free time, but regardless, I was not prepared to do nothing but projects outside of my courses. You know? Yeah, I, I, I fucks with you heavy, but, but not on the, I did all my homework and I, I was kind of like really the flip of you. I did all my homework in high school and cared a bit in high school and then in, and still senior year, because then senior year is a joke. But in college, I, I just did not, I, I, for the first like year or half a year, I was doing pretty good. And then I got a 0.69 GPA in my second semester because I just did not give a fuck. Did not care. Did not go to, barely went to classes. Didn't do my homework. Failed tests. Did not give a shit. Yeah. And I think I was just done with school at that point. Um, I don't have any, I, I, I mean, I was trying to think of like, outside of the schooling portion, I was trying to think of like zany college stories I have that I can tell. And I remember there was this one bitch, this one whore bitch 
Uh, no, she's she's fine. Um, a whore bitch. Yeah, she. Her, I don't remember her. Re- I'm gonna give her Ashley. <laughs> What's Ashley, her real name? A- yeah, Ashley is her real name for sure. Um, this girl Ashley <clears throat> seems super nice, and it was almost like a flirtatious nice, right? But I wasn't like interested in her really at all. But um, I thought that she would be a friend that I could carry outside of college. Uh, I didn't. I realized that wasn't a thing when I when she. How do I say this nicely? Reported me to the police. No, she. She was that girl that was nice to everybody and and was around. Whoa, she was around, right? This is wow, this you is, found some some girl in college who. This is this wasn't is, monogamous. This is community college. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm not even. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. This is not, and, and it was not, and I'm not even, I don't, in any, any regard, I know it's slut shame. Maybe I was just mad that I, because I felt like we were making a friendship. But then I was like, oh, I, I don't want to be just another. Yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a much more connection. Uh, right, I like the connection much more than anything, even if it's just a friendly connection, a platonic connection. But um, I remember getting, having, going like, a, not, I didn't go incel mode, but I thought incel mode. For a little bit there because I was like, can I just like make a friend that as a girl that there, this isn't like a part of it. Is that intel to think? No. Is it? I mean, it's incel if that is like, if that thought is like consuming your life. Yeah, no, I didn't care that much. It just made me mad at that you one know, girl. If you're like genuinely feel angry, like why can't I even just befriend a girl? But I guess if you are constantly running into issues where they're just. You know, yeah, no, that was like the one time. In you for, you know, transactional reasons. Then I guess it's fair to be like, man, I just, can I not do this for yeah. once? You know, like, I think that's a bit of a difference. So, yeah, you know, it's funny. On, I, I remember Yik Yak? Are you familiar? Right? Bro, you already know I know Yik Yak. So, I remember tweeting a bait, or tweeting, posting a bait post that said, girls from community colleges are hoes. Ooh. And I got a lot of angry community, community college girls that they, they I, I, I was, it was bait. I, 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 it was not clearly something I believed in. But no, I remember shots fired at girls that go to community colleges. I know. Um, but a lot of them, repl- a lot of people replied like, essentially like saying that I was like poor shaming them. Poor shaming? Yeah. Because they didn't go to like real college, and I'm like, that's not the part. That's not the part yeah. that I think you be, should be focused on. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's weird to single out community college, but yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of why it's funny. Yeah, that's why it was, it was bait. Yeah, it was 100 percent bait. Yeah, kind of rocking the car, dude. This is gonna what look like a tire just popped. Tire popped. Well, I was just thinking someone's gonna think we're like there's a murder happening in this car. Oh. It's shaking in a parking I lot. I thought that we were filming like a fake taxi type video, maybe. Oh. Yeah, that, sex, that that like that you know, there's a bunch of cameras and just a bunch of shaking. Sex also moves the car. Sex and murder, two things that move cars. I have a friend. That's true. I have a friend, and, and the 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 gas pedal. Ah! Um, I had something in my throat. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I have a friend right now who's going through the the, the the dating meme. Let's talk about this. I'm sure you've been through this. I am antisocial, so this is not, it is not my favorite thing in the world. But I have a friend who is going through the dating thing right now and is having intercourse with many women, not at once, at one time, but like one day he'll be with one girl and then two days later he'll be with another girl. And I'm like, how the fuck? I don't like, I, 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 I am such, I like to sit on, Friendships, I guess, or, or, you know, whatever, like so heavy because I, I can't imagine putting that much energy into that many things. And I guess maybe it's just I put too much energy into people. And that's maybe that maybe that's why I'm antisocial. Um, I mean, I also guess, too, is, is he just lying to these people? Is he like not, going on dates with these people and investing emotional energy and then moving on or... Is he just meeting people I to think, hook up with and they're aware of that and then it's done? I think he, the, the, the plan is he wants to meet somebody that he will enter a relationship with, but all he's gotten so far are pretty much our hookups, which is like, I think people nowadays use... The, I think the employees pack. 
I think most people kind of use Tinder and Bumble for hookups generally, right? I don't know. I've I've been off of them for a while. Me too. But Since high school. Um Yeah, back when I used it, it was a mixed bag. You would have to sort through people that wanted various things. Just like real life. I don't know. I just can't imagine putting any effort or energy towards multiple potential romantic partners. Like, I, if I yeah, like I somebody, I like Yeah, I if you're I on, like, like a string, if you're trying to take a girl on, like, multiple strings of dates, right? Like, hey, we're going to go out this night, and then, hey, we should do this again times five to figure out that person. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of energy, you know? So it's not... It, I just feel like maybe I don't... I don't I hold romantic and honestly platonic relationships to a different level than most people because I could never do that. And I know that they don't really know each other and it's a, a different, but it, I, I just, I don't see a world where I could be like, yeah, I'm, I'm just potentially interested in two women at once. I mean, if they're like first dates, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But what if deal. you like set up two dates and you like both of them equally? What the fuck do you do? Um, you just choose one? I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm happy that I found Alexis and I'm good. Dating, yeah. for, dating for six years and change? I mean, I'm that's good. that's always awkward. You know, I've definitely yeah. ran into before, like, you know, I'm trying to take things one-on-one and then the other person is like, oh, you know. Fucking I'm, around. I'm, I'm not even that, but just like, oh, I'm like seeing my options at the moment, you know, and it's like, okay, well. You're either into that or you're not, but, you know. That's why, I'm like, I'm kind of happy that I have a friend group. But then that makes your decision easy. If that's not for you, then that's not that's for true. you. That's why I'm happy that I have a friend group that most of my friends are in, is because I don't have to, like, put energy I towards... I can fuck any of them. I can fuck any of them, and I don't have to put any energy towards anybody I don't really, like, care, care that much about, or, ha- like, I, I'm set with friends at this point. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking to make more. If you lost me as a friend, would you even feel I'd, anything? I'd, repl- I'd, repl- I'd replace you with another person from Phoenix, actually. That'd be kind of crazy, actually. Do you know anybody in Phoenix that would want to be my friend? No. Not even, like, your dad or your sister or something? Are they, yeah, they're both in Phoenix. They might want to be my friend. You think it'd be weird if you were, you were, were, were like, oh, we're ending the podcast because, you know. And then you restarted it with my dad. And then restarted it with your dad. With Drizzy Drake. Yeah. With, with, with your dad, Drake. Yeah. I get down. I mean, I'd be down. She's down. Drake, if Drake is down. Can you, I'm going you... to be honest with you. The second I ate canes, my energy just... I'm, 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 Me too. I'm dead. Me too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep, I'm gonna keep munching in a second. I, I, I don't feel hungry, but I want, I'm like fiending a little bit right I'm going to throw that away. Your can girlfriend's you... going to get cold, cold tendies, I know, dude. I know, dude. Let me, let me, I have, listen, dude. Can you make a, a connection from you to Drake? Like, a, like you, you know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. Well, I don't know who knows Drake. Well, I mean, he's worked with a bunch of different artists. And I'm sure I bet you, you does Brainstorm count? Because I bet you... There's a connection between from Brainstorm him to and Young Drake. Thug. From me to Brainstorm to Young Thug. Like, Honestly, you could probably go directly to Drake from there. Is it just being in the same room? No, I, I would think like a personal connection. like Having a conversation with? Yeah, like it's not enough. Just having a conversation. If I with. talk to you, you could talk to a guy to make to, to, I could talk to a guy to talk to a guy I that can. Literally I literally think that that's it. Is me talking to Brainstorm who talked to Young Thug who talked to Drake. Well, but he could. But Brainstorm got a gun pulled on him by Young Thug. It wasn't that's like still a conversation. I'm, but I'm saying okay. Well, then him I, I, to Brainstorm I, I meet, to I his would, producer friend that was invited him over to Young Thug okay. to yeah, that's fair. Drake. Because like I, I like, I'm trying to think like. I want to talk to you. Yo, I don't mean to call people out, but this fucking Kane's employee is going through it over there. You okay, Sean? Yeah, she's just like dumping. Sh- I don't know if she just spit something out, or she's like dumped her drink. Is she okay? I, I don't know. She's like going through it, dude. Well, actually, she's like tweaking I feel it weird. Out. I feel weird about this. Is she okay? Oh. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what to do, dude. This is so weird. You can go to the gas station over there. I don't you know. You gotta throw some shit away anyways. I don't like want to get up and move the car, but she sees nobody walk to the car. She knows we're in here. She sees me, clearly. Tinted windows, bro. bro well, then who gives a shit? You're gone. <laughs> who gives a shit at that point? Um, oh my god. Really she's like crazy. tweaking out over there. I think she's just crying. Is she? I thought that she, she like spit something out and she's like drinking and her like hands are like moving. She's like slamming the top of her car with her hand at one point. She's like rocking back and forth really quickly. I don't know. I've seen people cry. I've seen people tweak out. It seems like it's somewhere in between. She just like took something and then started crying. I don't know. Oh my god. I am like should we just like move? Like, yeah, le- leave. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I mean, if you really want to stay here, we can. But I gotta go. <laughs> that uh, Kane's employee who came up, got in her car, and left. <coughs> then she came back. Like, I don't know. Whenever I said it, like ten minutes ago, and now she's like having a episode by herself two parking spots to our over to our left so this is the worst day of my life <laughs> i just you know all right well, i'll give her some privacy uh do you want to end the podcast on the way there because i don't want to dox myself well yeah um i want to throw my food away over there at the gas station uh, and, and then we'll end yeah then we can end time. it um, your girlfriend's food's still here. You might want to wrap it up in a, the bag. As long as it doesn't fall over, I don't care. All right. Up to you. Oh, there's a, there's a garbage can right here, brother. Whoop, whoop. It's all you. Um, you gonna end the podcast while moving because you have a lab on? Yeah. You want to handicam me? Okay. You don't have to. I will. Um, don't I just talk to myself like I'm a crazy person. All right. Hold on. Hold my phone back. Oh, oh shit! I forgot. Whatever. Put it there. All right, everyone. Um, thank you for watching the regurgitated podcast or something. There's people um, in the car next to us. Huh? Yeah, I know. The, um, I want an In-N-Out gift card. That's pretty cool. Um, people that, (laughs) people that, uh, win, win things on fake game shows are pretty cool. So I, um, I appreciate people for watching that. This is very good. I don't know how to end the show talking to myself with people staring at me in the other car. So, you know, just subscribe or something. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. And tell them to subscribe. Subscribe or something. I mean, I, yeah, this is the best, the best episode we've had yet. So, like, this is Pog. Is it Pog? You guys got a gun right next to us. <laughs>